Okay, supposedly there's street food here in Denmark. So, uh, good job, Finer. He lost my bag, but you immediately shipped it within 24 hours, so thank you. I finally get to change clothes. That's always a good feeling, you know. After 24 hours plus of wearing the same clothes, it feels good to change clothes, so here goes. Shoot, I forgot where I was standing, so how can I... At least the sun is out a little bit. I gotta up my fashion game, you know? Like, I'm pretty awful with fashion, as you guys know. Yeah. Like, every, in every yeah, video, somebody fashion. goes like, Kyle, dress better, you know? Or something like, we why like you, your videos, no, but you can't... Why do you wear so much clothes in Vietnam? <laughs> well, no, it's not that. It's just like, they literally say, like, you have no style. Just maybe just walk into a store and then ask them, hey, why should I dress? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I just want black. I just want to wear something black and simple. Yeah, yeah. Black, black is so Danish. I did not know that. Running is Danish. Oh, I kept thinking this entire time gymnasium meant gym, so it's like a tech gym, but no, it's high school. Well, I'm learning uh, something new here in Denmark every day. I've, I've been here before. Like, there's, a, there's like a Vietnamese restaurant down there, right? Oh, okay. No, Looks you're thinking about the first intersection. Very quiet here. Very quiet here in Aarhus. So quiet, even the cars are quiet. That's the norm, right? You eat one way you drink boba, right? Not here. Not here? You, don't you go with the tiger. Oh, you go with the cafe How many places are there in your house? I think there's two, uh, two restaurant chains. You know. Chains? There's one that, that just opened. Ooh. I haven't even been. Close to the bus station. Yeah, we, we call it a chain if there's two or more shops. So there's one of these shops. Uh, downtown as well. And there's one called the uh, Ban Mei Bandits. That's yeah. The one you try. Yeah, the street foods, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. street foods. Actually, that's a very common thing. I find that uh, a lot of the banh mi in Denmark, you guys put kimchi in your banh mi. This is not the first place that I've, I've seen that, right? So I guess the dochu is not your kimchi. Kimchi, it's dochu. Or dochu, they call it kimchi. kimchi. This one is pork. This one is uh, vegetarian jack. How, how often do you guys actually eat banh mi like this? Very rare. Really? Because I figured if it's just, you know... I just make it myself. Yeah, I just buy the baguette, right? Mm -hmm. Buy the baguette and... Uh, uh, the bread is definitely... Like, it's a lot different from the one in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a more high-quality bread. A lot more substantial yeah. dough, right? Not just air. This won't give me diarrhea. Mm, well, it might give me it. If it's too clean, it ain't good either, yeah. Right? right? This is not real pork. Really? No, it's yeah. Yeah. No, but it's vegetarian, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like made from tofu. Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, it doesn't taste like that at all. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can taste it. Yeah, like tofu. It's good, right? Yeah, like tofu. It's great. It's real, yeah. Tag, tag from all smack daddy? Is that what you said? Yeah. Tag for my smack daddy. Gotcha. Okay. Not smack daddy. Smack the daddy. That sounds just like smack daddy. <laughs> smack the dolly. Not. Smack the dolly. Yes. Tag for my. So, like formally, thank you, right? Thank no. you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the food. Oh, thank you for the food. Is tag for mal? Yeah. Oh. You always say that, like after someone confused, you yeah. say. Tuck for mole. Yeah. For mole or for mal? 
for Mel. For Mel, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Easy, easy. Tuck for Mel. Now I know. Why didn't you teach me this last time? I did. <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> it's so cold. Is it? Yes. Wait a minute, if you're cold now, then what about last time during December? I was cold too. <laughs> if I'm not cold, how can you be cold? Makes no sense. For the record, it's actually not even that cold. It is. I'm actually very weak when it comes to the cold weather, but uh, Nina is a very special, uh, special case. Interesting. I, I'm curious to know what kind of branding idea is behind that, right? Like, is it? That's real street food right there. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my feet. Yeah, let's let's get some. Let's support them. Yeah. Except mobile pay. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is Denmark, guys. This is amazing. Yeah. We will get for 10 krones. That's like a half Yeah. So, what, what is this uh, exactly? What is this? A pancake. No, I mean like a pancake. Oh, yeah. that's just a pancake. So a Danish pancake. Yeah. Made of, made by kids. Ooh. Made by kids. Street food. Uh, street you know. food. Yeah, real street food here. But, but what's the purpose? Is this like Girl Scouts yeah. or something? They don't know <laughs> what they're gonna. Oh, oh so you, oh, you they just needed money. <laughs> yeah. For, they got that. <laughs> for the iPhone, the new iPhone. Huh? Yeah, new iPhone. New yeah, iPhone. Yeah. New money for the iPhone. Yeah. Just get it faster. Gotcha. Gotcha. I sell out them. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, try it, Nina. Give them some business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're near the free store. Okay, talk for mom. Very good. He asked whether how it tastes. Oh, watch out for the. Oh, I ate the paper. Yeah. A little bit. Danish street food, everybody. Half the first. How much was that? Like ten dollars. <laughs> Only restaurants here are open late because yeah. everyone else, like all the people that work inside the stores, have to go home. Right, so everything is they pretty value much their free time. Yeah, everything is pretty much closed at six, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, all these shops. Hey, we were here last time. Remember? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. This was the place. Yeah, yeah. I talked to the yeah, Chinese guy here, but Vietnamese. I thought he was Vietnamese, right? He wasn't. He wasn't. Right. Right. He's off too. Wow. Everybody's it's off. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Everybody's that guy, off. He's working. That's a real job. So if the church were to fall over, it's going to hit right there. It's, uh, you know, the top. No way. Yeah. That's how high, that's how high it is? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, that triangle. That triangle is going to hit right here. Wow. That is incredible. I, had, I, I would have never guessed that it would be right there. That is incredible. So it's just a trendy thing to have a wooden monkey. Yeah, for no reason. I mean, there's gotta be a reason. There's no reason. It's just good branding. That's it. But what's the point of buying it? Like just putting it to decoration? Yeah. I'm sure there's a reason, guys. Comment I mean, down below. All the Danish people right now. What's the reason? What's the reason for the? I don't know. For the I monkey? guess we're too Asian. This little yeah. notebook is over ten dollars. Yeah. Wow. Very famous Danish. I don't know what the, the purpose is. How much is that? Like five hundred thousand dollars or something? U.S. 200 uh, Danish kroner. Wow. That's 30 bucks. 30 bucks for one, huh? What does that say? This is not a bag or something? No mess, a beautiful mess. No mess is a beautiful mess. Yeah, that's, uh, let's see, how much uh, something like this? $200, yep. See, I was looking for something like that, just with Saigon in Vietnam. Yeah, they don't and have it? And I couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah. And then it, once I came back to Denmark, it came up as an ad on Facebook. Ah. I mean, there was a shop ah. close to our house. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff here that I just don't understand. Like, what is, what is the purpose of this? What is this new age? I just like the design. Like, I'm so brainwashed. I just like the design. Oh, this is just high-end lotion, right? Yeah. Wow. See, this is a cozy night. If you buy this, you get cozy nights. Is it a candle? I don't know. Yeah, send it a candle. What is up with this trash can? Look at this. Wow. This is it does. This is incredible. I want to touch it. It's incredible. This is just, look at us touching trash cans. It's hygge. Like a rope. Yeah. You don't have one? No, I don't. 
Oh, I thought you had one. Look, it's too big. They don't have a kids version? Oh my god, I feel so creepy right now. They don't have a kids version. I didn't look. I mean, you look like a like a babushka. Yeah. It's like Jon Snow. Who, who's that? You don't watch Game of Thrones? No. Oh my god. Busy. Oh my god. Why do you even talk to me? If you eat that, you're gonna die. Oh, Dana's so jump jump. We throw it to each other and then say, catch quick. You know, <laughs> you don't even recognize it. So. <laughs> you open it like, what do you like call this. this in English? Yeah, is, it, is it here? No, it's not yeah. a nut. I don't know what that is. In Danish, it's kastanje. You eat it in Asia. And then kids, is it good? Not here. Then kids play with it. They yeah. put um, toothpicks in it, and they form different kinds of animals. Ah, okay. Wow, interesting. That's Denmark for you. Yeah, welcome to Denmark, guys, where you play with the uh, spiky ball fruits and toothpicks. You're gonna, gonna get a lot of hate for that. There's gonna be people like, oh, you go to Denmark to eat this? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah.